Neil Carlson here with a unusual weather-related occurrence. I'm at Gene Arvison's place, just west of Lower Red Lake, or some uh, 63 miles east of Grand Forks. What we have going on out here is a bit strange for this time of year. Hundreds of acres here are flooded by the Red Lake River in December. Through the curves of the nearby Red Lake River, our warmer weather for this time of year has let ice jams break free, blocking the river and causing it to spill over its banks. Below the ice around this area, the water is still running, and even though it's December, Arvison says it's going to cause some crop damage. For most people, yeah. you know, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, but for right here, this is damaged because the fields uh, to the south here now are alfalfa fields, and it will kill all that. Everybody says, well, the water will run off when the river goes down. Yeah, the water runs, but ice doesn't flow. Okay. And so the ice will stay all winter, and it'll kill the uh, grasses underneath. Well, then again, you have to remember it's 2020 covering some flooding north of Trail, Minnesota in December. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.